Well, this is making polyesters. What's an ester? Oh, I know you've forgotten, so let me just quickly recap that. You can make an ester by reacting an alcohol with a carboxylic acid, and water will pop off from between them, just like so, and the bond will join over that gap there. Now, that might not be the mechanism. In fact, you don't need to know the mechanism, but that's how you can remember it. Pull the water off from in between and join it up to make an ester. All right, so we're looking at polyesters. So imagine if I had an alcohol with two alcohol groups on it, and if I had a carboxylic acid with two carboxylic acid groups on it. Well, hold your horses there. Let me just arrange those. Now I can encircle the H2O like I did before and remove it and join up that bond there. And I can do the same on the other side. Well, that's a little bit longer than it was before. Last time we did a pair of chemicals, now there's three. So here's the clever thing. If I shift that along and I pop in another diol, alcohol with two alcohol groups on it, then I can keep adding it on. And if I shift that along again and put a dioic acid, so you can see if you have a double-ended alcohol and a double-ended carboxylic acid, you can just keep on doing this and doing this and making a long chain. Many ester groups, polyester, poly means many. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Now I'm gonna put square brackets around the repeating unit. It's not always obvious where that is. And so I don't have to write it out a billion times. I'll just say that that's the repeating unit. How many times? I don't know, n times. This is the specific example from the syllabus. This makes polyester the clothing. So take FN12-diol and this chemical here. Ooh, that looks tricky. Benzene-1,4-dioic acid. So a diol and a dioic acid and be very careful to have lines going outside of the square brackets of the repeating unit. They must go outside or you won't get the point. And don't forget the N. So that's polyester used in clothes and bottles. Oh, and got to put the hydrogens in if you want the point too. And here's the alternate name that they actually use in a syllabus for that chemical. It must be the fabric. It's, it's rubbing between your thighs when you walk. That's what's making that swooshy sound. 